In many cases, when business people secure a place to operate or buy land to construct a building for business, the next step would be to get an operating or trading license. Little emphasis is put on the safety and health measures at the site. According to the permanent secretary in the Ministry of Gender, Labor and Social Development, many workplaces are operating without the necessary precautions. But this stands to change because the government will ensure that these are in place by 31st December or else the workplaces or building could be closed. So it is up to you to be very fast to comply with the requirements. Because the problem in this country has been the laxity, enforcement of the laws, of the regulations. This law was written in 2006. But there has not been any enforcement. And me, I cannot sit there in that Minister of Gender and just look at things and keep quiet. No. Among the essentials laid down by the ministry is that buildings or workplaces should have standard staircases and corridors. The Occupation Safety and Health Act also stipulates that a building must have exit doors, adequate sanitary amenities, fire safety system, and sound occupation safety, among other things. A fee is also required for the examination and certification of statutory plants and equipment like steam boilers, air and gas receivers, mobile cranes and tower cranes. This rule was put in place to safeguard the employees and the employers. Because if a building collapses, it does not kill all the employees. It can kill you, the employer. So we must make sure that our people are in a conducive environment. The Act mandates the Commissioner for Occupation Safety and Health to also keep a register of all workplaces in the country. All public and private workplaces, enterprises, companies or organizations are expected to adhere to the rules before 30th December or risk closure. Irene Namialo, NTV.